turned my robot on, but it's not doing anything. It's just sitting here in the yard. That's not good. So we want to make sure, really, I could manually start it if I want to. And I'm going to show you that right now. But I'm going to show you how to manually start it, but then I'm going to show you the correct way how to really sort of take this to the automated level. And so say I, ha I have a troubled spot in my yard. And if I can say I, some grass over here, for whatever reason, my robot has been powered down because, again, I'm troubleshooting it and it hasn't been starting correctly or, you know, I'll, the grass were in early spring and I need to crank up the, uh, the work time on a little bit. So and I'm around the house, so I want to manually start it. Now, it'll be, I, what I would do is if it was in the garage, I'd pull it out from the garage, again, go to, I'd clear out any errors that were on it, like upside down or trapped or anything like that. And it's very easy. I'm at the menu and I just hit start. And it says close win window to start. And I just close the thing. And now what it will do is actually it will start just cutting in a random direction, just like a Roomba uh, vacuum cleaner. It will bounce off the boundary wire areas and randomly cut the grass, no problem. Awesome. And it will do this until it run, needs to go back and charge, and then it will try to repeat its schedule. Fantastic. Just hit the stop button to stop it. Now I'm going to pick it up. So I'm going to show you how to start it the right way now. So, or I want to start it really the right way. So I found it out in the yard. I'm getting bit by a mosquito. See, I hate cutting my grass, so that's why I got a robot. Robots don't get bit by mosquitoes. So I'm out in the yard, and I want to start it. I want to take it to the charging station. I'm right now in front of the charging station. So one thing I can easily do, to send it home the right way, I'm going to just hit that home button. It says close window to charge. So I got it right in front of the station. I close it. That's where the boundary wire is going up to it. And it's, you're going to see it dock, you know, really easily here. Come on, little robot friend. And I could actually put some topsoil down there to help it climb up a lot easier there. But I know it can dock successfully. So it's been easier and sometimes we do that and so it said it wasn't able to do it it actually wants to go out and mow right now because the battery is actually fully charged so it's actually going out to its scheduled time and that is why you want to send it manually home to the charging station because what we just saw there because what it will do the way it communicates i think to the charging station or just the logic of the computer will say hey it's actually able to, when it starts from the, the, the garage or the charging station, it's able to say, hey, I can go out and first of all, find a node. A node is something we have programmed into this during the installation to go and cut a particular section of the lawn, like getting past these choke points, like to this front part of the lawn, the robot will travel out here to a particular part of the grass to mow it, right? And so it might actually go out and mow it. So when I manually start it from the yard, it won't go to a node for starters, right? Also, when I manually start it from what I've observed, is it will only usually run a part of the time. Even if it's fully charged, it only runs for a half hour. When you manually dock it like I did, it'll go fully charged and then want to maybe go out and do your scheduled mow. So that's why I'm trying to show you the right way to do it. And this is something we've learned about with this particular robot. So let me repeat it one last time. How do we um, start our, our, we find our robot stuck in the yard somewhere, it's stuck on a twig or whatever. So first of all, I picked the robot up. If it's been stuck out in the yard for a while, right, it's gonna be powered down. So because to save energy, it'll just realize, hey, I'm idle, right? So I probably have to power it up. And I'm going to power it up, clear out any errors that er exist on the robot, on the screen. I'm going to enter my pin. It said, so now the error popped up because this is what it last remembered happened. It said, hey, I was upside down. Well, that's because I picked it up. <laughs> okay. Bugs are just flying everywhere around me. And then I hit the home button because I'm right outside the station. I'm going to set it. And now it's going to go successfully dock away and I'm just setting it I set it up like perpendicular to the boundary wire so it can easily just run in 
Now, one other thing about the boundary wire, see, easily docked in that time, no problem. But see, you hear it beeping? That means it wants to go out and do its scheduled cut. And this is why I do it. So we've taken it, it does this all automatically, and therefore it's automated, right? I'm just gonna stop it because we're gonna continue more stuff with our robot friend here. Great.